Okay, here to review the latest episode of Kenshin. So this episode was more of a build-up episode. Um, you know, we get to see Kenshin basically show up, save Yaku Yaiko from the Yakuza. Basically, the Yakuza are, like, beating him, and um, Kenshin shows up. And, you know, this is after they were beating him. They were telling him, like, oh, your father died in the war for nothing. Your mother, you know, she sold her body. She died. And then we don't even know if any of that's true. But Kenshin shows up and, you know, he saves Yaiko. And the one thing that's different in this is Karu. She was not here in this version. Um, you know, in the original version, the Yakuza guy was like, oh, you know, I don't want to spill a woman's blood. You know, she's trying to fight them. And then Kenshin shows up. She wasn't here this time around. And another thing that's different is um, a little bit of the fighting itself. So, um... When Kenshin shows up here, and the big Yakuza guy comes behind him, and the, in the old anime, he just flicks him. And he goes up to the ceiling, and this one, he just like full-on hits him, and he goes up. Same result, but it's like, it looks a little bit more of like a, more of a hit. Like, boom, yeah, it's crazy. You know, still really badass. Um, and then, you know, the old Yakuza guy, he basically decides to hand... Um, Yaiko over, Yaiko over, because he's like, I looked in his eyes, and, you know, he's, uh, you know, that's a, that's a real killer, that's a romance slayer, because he's an old dude, he's been around since the war, and the other Yakuza guys, they're pushovers, they don't know, and, um, he says, okay, we're gonna let him go with Yaiko, so then Kenshin takes Yaiko to Karu's dojo to learn the Kamiya Kashin, uh, because he doesn't want to train him, which, you know, it was always frustrating for me as a viewer because I wanted him to train Yaiko when I, when I originally watched this. And I still feel the same way now, years later. But he didn't want to train. He didn't want to teach him Hiten Mutsurugi style. Um, and, you know, a bunch of other people showed up to Karu's dojo. And she was like, oh, I've got a bunch of students. But no, they wanted to learn from Kenshin too, just like Yaiko. And um, that doesn't happen. But they all end up leaving. Ka Yaiko, he finally, okay, I'm going to learn from Karu. He decides to stay. And then the second part of this episode, uh, uh, these two guys show up. They basically saying they're being chased by this gang that, according to Karu, according to some other people, are worse than the Yakuza. Um, and then, you know, we find out that really they started the fight with this gang. And these former students, they want Karu to protect them, so they hide out in the dojo and basically want Karu to defend them against this, you know, entire gang. And they have this wooden cannon that fires these clay balls, which is like a real weapon in the 1800s and um basically um you know this this does not this does not uh go very uh well for at first karu but then the gang because kenshin comes back from getting groceries because he was out getting groceries karu sent him out to get groceries and um Kenshin faces off with these guys, and one of the guys recognizes him. He's like, hey, that's the dude that fought, like, all the police and stuff like that, single-handedly. And, uh, you know, but he's like, I don't care. You know, we got this wooden cannon. Fire it at him. Fire, fire. So they fire the wooden cannon at Kenshin, and, uh, you know, he, he splits it right in half, the clay ball that comes out of that thing. Like, it was nothing. And then, you know, he basically says, like, oh, yeah, you know, this this can cut through anything except people, except people. Which is like, Kenshin, how's that thing your sword know whether it'll cut through inanimate objects or people? How's it know the difference? But, you know, it's just one of those things you have to suspend your disbelief with Kenshin's reverse blade sword. Um, and then at the end we get, you know, well, I also wanted to go over this. Um, the anime and manga comparison. Because, I mean, this is, again, this anime so far has been very accurate to the manga. Um... So here we got, you know, Yaiko, you know, Kenshin. Everything looks pretty much exactly as it did in the, the chapter version of this. Karu training. Kenshin cutting the clay ball. So yeah, I mean, it looks pretty much exactly like the manga. And so far, this version of Kenshin has been more accurate to the manga. Then at the end, we got a shot of Sanosuke. He uh, is him standing over a guy, the, the same guy who was head of that gang with the cannon that he... Um, he beats him down. Is like, is there anybody strong I can fight? Building up for the fight that's going to happen between him and Kenshin. Which I don't know if it's going to be next episode or not. Pacing's a little bit different in this anime. Um, but another thing I wanted to mention too is despite how good this anime is so far, the one thing it doesn't have is that intro and outro music. I forgot to mention that in the last uh, last in the last uh, review. Doesn't have that. It just uh, you know, it's good. I, I like the intro and outro, but just can't compare to the original. Somebody brought up in the comments, and I just wanted to put that in here because I forgot to bring it up in the last uh, video. But yeah, so that was uh, this episode. You know, it was pretty good. If you like the original anime, again, give it a watch. 
Um, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. You know, it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, wherever you are, have a great day. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. And peace out.